Dear friends, the Buddhist world has been cast into darkness. Tibetan Buddhism has lost in this life one of its greatest torchbearers and masters, His Holiness Kunzik Shamar Rinpoche. The Kamagaju tradition has lost a supreme leader and one of our lineage holders. And I have lost my teacher, my spiritual father. I have practiced the Buddha Dharma all of my life and learned about what death means and how we can use that understanding to do more in life. However, the actual experience of losing Shamarim Bache has affected me deeply and personally. I need, we all need, time to grieve, to focus on our practice and to move together in peace. There is great wisdom and compassion in the Buddha Dharma. The 49 days of mourning is just one example of this. It is natural and understandable that everyone is deeply affected by the passing of Shama Rinpoche. There is a lot of emotion. Many will be asking, what now? What next? And have fear for the future. I'm speaking to you today to say that there is no need to fear for the future. In Shama Rinpoche's final teaching, he said, you don't need to be afraid of death if you know how to practice in death. And so it is in life. As long as we focus on our practice, stay true to our core, our inner wealth, our innate values of compassion and wisdom, there is no need to be afraid. For there is great teaching in Shambhara passing. The teaching of impermanence, the lesson that all beings even the Buddha himself must pass. Friends, it is very important that as practitioners, we are not led by emotion. The 49 days is a time for grieving, for practice, for processing what has happened. This must be the focus for all of us, including myself. During this time and beyond, we must guard ourselves against thoughts, words, actions that are led by emotion, cause any harm or lead to any unnecessary karma. Therefore, this is a time for wisdom, this is a time for responsibility. Right now, our focus must be on practice, on mourning the loss in this life of our great teacher, to learn from his wisdom and compassion, to cool our emotions, and move together in peace. On the 31st of July, His Holiness Shamarambach's physical manifestation, or the Kudung, will be cremated in Kathmandu. As Kamapa, I have the duty and the honor to preside over the ceremony, along with many great masters of our time. We anticipate that there will be tens of thousands of practitioners in Nepal. And many more of you around the world who would like to be present but are unable to do so. For you, I would like to assure you that by focusing on your practice, staying true to yourself, this will have great, great benefit. In this way, by meditating together on the life, teachings and swift return of His Holiness Shambhara Rinpoche, we will be all connected in ways that transcend boundaries of space and time. As a superior Bodhisattva, Shama Rinpoche will be reborn due to the power of compassion for all sentient beings and his prayers to benefit others. May we all pray together for the benefit of all beings, bound together by loving kindness and compassion. So now, I would like to recite a short passage in Tibetan from the text which is calling the teacher from afar, and in Tibetan known as Jangulama Jangbe. To 
to invoke the blessings of the teacher. Lama and Geno, Lama and Geno, Lama and Geno, and Tengen Zawe, Lama and Geno. To some San Jen Jen or Long Don Dam Chen Jen Jon, but so Gendon Jen and Don Zawe, Lama Jen Jen. Chen lam tuk jie ye tere chen nung o zhu wa nam ye jien chung ne Chen le chen tu kun zo en zen zha ve lama chen chen no Lama ve pa me pa chen no me pa m chue jie lo chun chen no Lama ve pa me pa chen no 